Marks and colours on a canvas react in a similar fashion to that seen in a test tube. Like chemical compounds or elements, marks and colours react according to size, shape, orientation and concentration, as well as the actual environment they are in, the painted surface. This can take the form in both cases of a simple collision, an attraction due to charge or energy, or a highly specialised reaction brought about by specific orientation. Colours can attract or repel each other energetically, and this opens up or closes down areas of the painting and influences the viewer's experience. Simple marks display a similar reaction. Depending on their placement, colour and shape, their stereochemistry, marks create a language that holds and releases space, a language that has rhythm and tone. This placement is not something you can predetermine or even approach logically. It results from a volley of exchanges between artist and the developing reaction on the canvas, and it is not linear. The painted surface seems to have its own time frame of assembly, and it is not an arena for imposing ideas or thought. This is a time of response, a purity of intention. As an artist, you do need to know what you are looking for, a sign that the reaction has happened. This is not based on form or even how the canvas looks. It comes from the sensation of completeness. In this way, the artist knows exactly what they are doing in the split second of the moment, but with no idea or care of what they will do in the next split second of the next, until, of course, they are in it. This is honesty. This is the process. In this way, the actual form of the finished work is always a surprise, both in how it may look as well as the artist's involvement. This ongoing chemistry is the basis for the language of paint, and like all languages, it provides information, direction and possibility. And so paintings become encounters with possibility. This is a journey into an unknown yet familiar world, a world which has no boundary structure, where sensation exists in a pure form and is not attached to any form of reason. And it is precisely due to this fact that our psyche can expand and inhale a new sense of space, a new sense of being. This is something we crave and yet our lives are so governed by boundaries that seem to cement our sense of ourselves, allowing permission to cross these lines on many levels seems absurd. This is why painting, art, is so important. In a great painting, it removes these boundaries, if only briefly, and opens up a sense of freedom, a freedom that is us.